Hey folks, welcome back to Tractor Tales. Head with me this week. We are off to Massachusetts to check out a Ward's Twin Row. We have a 1941 Ward's Twin Row. And this was, uh, you know, your classic tractor story. Ran when it was parked 30 years ago. Uh, had a six inch tree growing up through the frame. It really wasn't missing anything uh, in terms of the body parts, but the engine was trash and had to be rebuilt. It's a four cylinder Hercules. There's an engine rebuilder right down the road here that took him a year to do it, but he got it done. It's one of my favorite tractors because it's so dependable. And I took it to the uh, Rate Farm Elliott tractor show up in Maine uh, a couple weeks ago, and I was just amazed at you know, how few people have seen this model tractor before. They're not so common in New England. More in the Midwest, yeah. You can find some of them out there, but there's probably only a handful of these in New England. When I bought it, it had remnants of original blue paint on it, and I couldn't find anybody on the internet. Nobody ever heard of one being blue. I would have loved to have had a blue because of my 20 tractors, most of them are red. I actually have a sign in front of my house that says, Wanted Old Farm Tractors, and I get some of my best finds from that. So a guy, guy called me said he had one and it was two towns over. I went over and looked at it and he came down a little bit, I went up a little bit and I ended up getting it and I'm so glad that I did. Tractor fever is a, is a real serious disease and uh, you best be ready for it if you get, get hooked. It's, it's gonna take you over. Thanks so much, Greg. Well, walking around here at National Farm Machinery Show, there is still one issue top of mind for many equipment manufacturers and that's issues with the supply chain. So what is the underlying issue forcing some equipment manufacturers to even throttle back production? We're going to cover that in our Farm Journal report next.